I put my hand down and she more or less crawled onto it right away. I, I was working out in the garden. I turned around and I said, oh, there's a bee. And it wasn't till I picked her up and I, I kind of looked at her and I thought, you haven't any wings. And it was at that point I thought, how are you going to manage? So I gave her a wee sugary water. I had a heather plant in the garden and I kind of hid it in there and I thought, well, she'll maybe get some nectar from the flowers. Basically, I thought, by the time I got home from work, I thought she would probably have crawled off. When I, I found her, I thought, okay, I'm really going to have to take you indoors and, and help you out. So I kept her in overnight. She obviously got a will to live. They had said it might be this deformed wing virus. I couldn't let her go because the weather was so awful. I just felt that she was such a, a wee pet that, you know, she wasn't going to manage just very well on her own at all. And she needs my help. So I went and stood, just stood in the garden centre and watched what the bees liked. So I got some bits and pieces together, made an indoor retreat for her. It was actually a birdhouse and I filled it with sort of nesting material. So well, she went in and had a look, yeah, and she sort of cozied herself inside it. The realisation at that time was, right, I really have a responsibility for this wee creature now. I think that was probably a turning point for me. She just took to me right away. She would take drinks from my finger, and she would crawl all over me. She would snuggle into my hand and sleep. Well, we sleep now, are you? You say night night to everybody? Night night. Yeah, if I put my hand up and she just went up and then she started just sitting on my nose. I, I don't think I really thought at that time that we were bonding in any way. I probably was surprised a wee bit at my own feelings for her. Clever, aren't you? Emotions. I thought, I'm seeing things with B that I felt other people possibly wouldn't know or see. The fact that she was quite happy being in my presence was a big reward for me and I think she definitely thrived with being with another living being. And of course I would talk to her, <laughs> as you do. Oh, is that good? Clever girl. You're lively. Where are you going? She would just be neither hungry or, or, or thirsty, just happy to be with me. I could tell days before she stopped eating, she would drink, and I thought, this is it, she is really slowing down now. Because really, in B terms, she was a wee old lady. Just later and later into the evening, she just got slower and slower. She was in my hand, and uh, she died that night. Her last wee leg, he moved. And she, that was her, a wee. Of course I was sad, but I think I was immensely proud that I had been able to give her a comfortable life and look after her. She's in the garden, put her with one of her favourite heathers. I think she probably did teach me a lot about myself. Bees are terribly important to us, and I, I hope people will, will learn to live alongside them, that we respect them, and we nurture, and we care for, for all the wildlife that we have around us. I think that's our duty of care.